So I like Vetovation's video otoscope for uh, intubation uh, of rabbits or any small exotic mammal where this will fit. Um, once you've downloaded the Vetovation Video Otoscope app, you'll be able to go into the app, you'll easily be able to adjust the size of the field of the image, and then be able to focus by tapping the screen will bring you into clear focus. A couple of troubleshooting uh, tips and tricks. Uh, you've got a cold scope that's going into a warm patient, so if you can warm your scope up, either by just holding it with your hand or putting it in a warm cup of water, that will help you to have a warm scope and a warm patient so that it doesn't fog. Using the video otoscope, we will pass a three and a half or five French length of polypropylene suction catheter down the working channel and then into the rabbit's glottis. Then we will remove the scope and we will place an endotracheal tube over the guide, over our suction catheter guide down to the rabbit's glottis and then intubate. All right, so our rabbit has been pre-medicated with five mg per kg of ketamine, a quarter of a mg per kg of midazolam, and 0 0.03 mg per kg of buprenorphine. She's being masked down on sevaflurane, although isoflurane will work just as fine, just as good. Uh, we're using a face mask here, and then once uh, we have her sternal in the position we want. We're going to switch from a face mask over to a three-quarter inch C PVC coupling from the hardware store, and we will make a nasal mask with that. Uh, for some procedures, I also use a rodent rabbit mouth gag, which we engage on the incisors. Once that engaged is engaged, your assistant holds that instead of holding the rabbit's mouth. Put the setup this way and work with this endoscope upside down, if you will, because that will allow us to present the catheter guide uh, towards the widest part of a rabbit's glottis, as you'll see in a moment, which is ventral. So we have a rabbit in sternal position with a nasal mask in place. I'm going to come in off to the side of the incisors and we're going to always, with endoscopy, go to the dark. And right now I've got the margin between the tongue and the roof of the mouth. I'm going to keep advancing, advancing until I find a big, large opening in the back of the oral cavity. Here I have the glottis positioned right in the center of the screen here. We have the epiglottis along the bottom of the screen and you can see the, the glottis opening and closing. In the process of coming back here, we have already dislodged the uh, soft palate from the epiglottis. All right, and I'm gonna have Angela pass our catheter slowly. No, nope, pass our catheter. You just start to advance that and direct it right in for me. One sec, there you go. Mm, are we sure we're in? Let's make sure it goes in. Okay, good, perfect. Go on in, go on in. Now, hold it in place. I'm going to back out, keep holding, that's right, keep holding. Now if you'll reach around, hold it there, good. Now I'm going to go back in and we're going to watch this. I'm going to confirm that it's still in place. It is. Now if you'll go ahead and pass that, yep, okay. Now it's time to start watching the screen. Instead of the bunny. No, I'm gonna let you. Um, one second. I'm gonna follow your tube in. Go. I'm following you in. Okay. Now you just intubated. Keep going. It's not. Okay. You're meeting resistance. Mm -hmm. Do quarter turns. No, I think I'm at the insiders. Okay. Oh, so you're <laughs> intubated. Completely intubated. Okay. Can't go any farther. All right. I couldn't see that from my angle. Now we're intubated and we're going to turn the rabbit sideways. This is the step where we tie it in using tie-in gauze. When I tie in one of these girls, it's important to do the following. If you'll hold this for me. Thanks. Okay. You go back to the
corner of the mouth with your tie in. Back here if you want to see it. We go back to the corner of the mouth. We tie in maybe one centimeter back from the junction between the adapter and the endotracheal tube. And then most important is when you pass this gauze through the mouth, make sure that the tongue is ventral to your gauze so that you continue to use the tongue for pulse oximetry. If the tongue is uh, above the gauze, it's going to get uh, choked. And the tongue now can be used for pulse ox because it's unencumbered by the tie-in. It's not going to be strangulated.